think it's been quite calm, with the exception of a few flashes in some, you know, minimum number of uh, centers. Um, I think the turnout has also been quite low, and I have chosen to, you know, hit the streets and whip up the support just so we get people, you know, to be encouraged enough to go and vote. Of course, people um, are so disappointed. MPP government have made people so disappointed in our politicking, you know, because they said too many sweet stuff and people have seen a lot of sad or experienced a lot of sad situations. And so the motivation to even want to go out there to vote is not there, but I keep giving them hope that this is the time the NDC is coming and all their hopelessness is going to turn into, you know, hopeful situations. And so since I hit the streets, I've seen you know, the numbers coming out, people popping out, you know, trooping and um, queuing to vote. I, I think it's been quite okay. We only caught, you know, signals that are getting to the latter part of the um, elections. We are going to experience some blackouts and, you know, some specific or selected areas where the MPP guys believe, allegedly, they can have their way, you know. Um, then there may be a couple of um, violent clashes as well, you know, just so they can do whatever, whatever they want to do. But I've already cautioned them that they shouldn't dare. We don't want peace. We, sorry, we don't want uh, trouble. All we want is peace. We don't want any violence. All we want is to, ex you know, an establishment of peace within the duty. For the first time in our history, we want to observe a peaceful elections. We don't want anybody. We have seen people who have been bashed into this constituency. In Nglishi, for example, um, close to the Simpe, sorry, the, um, Sal no, just somewhere behind the police station, close to the London market. This morning, some guys came around, you know, trying to um, intimidate people holding guns and what have you. I even heard some of the MPP executives from this constituency were wielding guns. I told the people we don't fear them. Life is only one, and we'll fight to protect the sanctity of the people's will. We are prepared to sacrifice to make sure the will of the people, you know, prevails. And nobody, this time, nobody can dare lift a gun and shoot anybody. They will disappear from this constituency. And I've served a word, a word of warning to them. So if they know what is good for them, they should desist. Our boys chased them out, even though they were wielding guns. We have told them, we don't want violence. I've always said again and again that it is the MPP, because they know the seat is not theirs, who try to foment all forms of trouble just to have their way. But they dare not once again. We are hoping that, you know, as it has been this afternoon, quite calm, um, it will be like that, just that the people will troop in their numbers just to peacefully vote and then we count the ballots and whoever wins win. I know, like I've always said, I'm, more, I'm winning with 53%, 63% of the votes. And His Excellency in your Mahama in Ududududu and the whole of this country, sorry, is winning with 52% of the total votes.